Hi guys, I'm going to record myself reading to you um, and it's called The Little Engine That Could. And this is one of my all time favorite stories. Um, it's an older story. In fact, I listened to this story when I was in first grade. So um, the author is Waddy Piper and the illustrator of this book her name is Lauren Long, so I hope you enjoy this story as much as I do, The Little Engine That Could. Chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Her cars were filled with toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. There's the train with all of those animals and that silly clown. But that was not all. Some cars were filled with good things for boys and girls to eat. Golden oranges, red cheeked apples, bottles of milk, and even lollipops for after meal treats. Mmm. All oh, those look nice and tasty. I think I especially like that ice cream. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden she stopped. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and tried, but her wheels would not turn. Why do you think that she's having such a hard time moving? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the little clown. All the dolls and toys cried out together, please, shiny new engine, won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Do you think the shiny new engine will help? But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. My train has sleeping cars and a dining car with waiters to serve hungry people. I pull the likes of you, indeed not. And off he steamed. So that shiny engine did not help. Soon the little clown called out, look, a great big strong engine is coming. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys. Won't you pull our train over the mountain? I am a freight engine, a freight engine, the big strong engine bellowed. I have just pulled a train with big heavy machines. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the big engine popped off. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, said the little clown. The big engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and very tired. But our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. Ooh, look at that old, tired train. Do you think that's going to be any help? I don't know. It might be too old and too tired. But the rusty old engine sighed. I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. And off he rumbled. He keeps saying, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Is that having a positive attitude? By now, the dolls and toys were so sad. They were all ready to cry. Mm. Do you think they're going to give up? But the little clown called out, here comes a little blue engine, a very, very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came, chug, chug, chugging merrily along. Look at that tiny blue engine. How in the world could that be of any help? 
What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good boys and good girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please, please. I love how these trains have eyes and that's like the nose. It's cute. I am not very big. I have never been over the mountain, but I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And the little blue engine hitched herself to the train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly, 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 they started off. Wow, look at that little tiny blue engine helping them. And the engine said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I think that's having a positive attitude. Puff, 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 chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Can you say that with me? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster, the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Hooray, hooray, cried the little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be so happy because you helped us. Everybody say hooray. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. Can you say that with me? I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. And there's the city. What do you think the moral of this story is, the lesson? Can you take time to talk with somebody at home about what you think the moral or the lesson of this story is? I hope you enjoyed it.